The newly launched Artificial Intelligence Sandbox pilot program is expected to create up to 900 AI startups and 13,000 new talents by 2026, according to Science, Technology and Innovation Minister Chang Li Kang. The strategic collaboration between his ministry, the Higher Education Ministry and NVIDIA aims to drive Malaysia's transition into a knowledge-based economy fueled by AI innovation. This initiative potentially stimulates up to 10% economic growth through the creation of new industries, job opportunities and increased competitiveness in the global market. This is a testament to our commitment to driving innovation in the international arena, perfectly aligned with our national goal of incubating 100 AI companies to generate 1 billion ringgit in revenue by 2030. Chang said this during the launch of the AI Sandbox pilot program at the Malaysian Research Accelerator for Technology and Innovation Park on Thursday. This collaboration not only provides new economic opportunities, but also fosters entrepreneurship attracts foreign investment and create high-value job opportunities in emerging AI-driven industry in Malaysia. At a press conference later, Higher Education Minister Dato Sri Dr Zamri Abdul Qadir said that the government has a clear national AI policy and that the ministries will collaborate to implement it. We need also to develop uh, the, the uh, entire ecosystem as I mentioned just now. Uh, for example, uh, we are going to start uh, with uh, very uh, important uh, the faculty of AI. It's not only uh, what we're talking here, it's not about one faculty that will involve other universities. They will showcase uh, their capabilities, their readiness, uh, involving uh, for now 20 IPTA, our public university, and 20 uh, private universities in Malaysia. So with that combination of four of 40 universities in Malaysia, we'll be able to produce results uh, in new course. The first AI faculty at University Technology Malaysia will be launched by Prime Minister Dato Sri Anwar Ibrahim on May 10th, and it is expected to begin its academic program in October this year.